take him down. It is going to be the Thresh locked into the end for Lehens. He's not going to go back to his Shen or anything like that. It's going to be a very comfortable draft, but I'm giving it to Hanwha here. Their draft has multiple modes, as our friend LS would say. They held on to flexibility until the very end. They can still flex now, moving on. And Definitely a balancing act right now, where Orn is doing actually fine, because Jube hasn't built an item. Oh no, there's the flash play. In comes the Jarvan, and that should be first blood. Going over to Hanwha Life, and it's Vista that picks it up of all people. Maybe just taking a double here as the cube. Will it come back off cooldown? Haru just stabs him. There we go, Hanwha Life 2-0 already, and it has gone from bad to worse already. Hanwha Life. And Spirit looks for it. Lahens takes a lot of damage, but it's Haru that's in the front line. There's the Grand Skyfall as Kane looking to come in. Does have the slicing mount from waits for the play. And Lahens will be the first one to go down. But Mystic oh. grabs that kill as Vista on the back line. But he's now sort of one versus four. Off on the other front. They turn onto the three. The flash forward. Vista is point blank range with the close range weapon rim. <laughs> My God, is it difficult to cast a Felios, but it's easy to see how good he is as Fly runs away wondering what the heck that champion just did. I don't know. Crescendum. My brain couldn't find Crescendum, I know, okay? I know there's one weapon that it, it cycles really fast. Yeah. However, if yeah. you use the ultimate, the Moonlight Vigil, then it gets marked. Okay, and well, then, well, you can, like, it from does everywhere not know... What is going on right now? Yes, he does. He knows that he's about to die. Well, as he we just missed used the kill and okay. Kube had no <laughs> idea that he was <laughs> in the lethal, easy. so the joke was on him. Yeah. Obviously, now Afrika is also well. Okay, I guess the minions balanced out and the plate. So that's the big picture. All right, Kane got a plate. Is it worth his life? Is the question. Is Vista's here? Ooh. Yeah. We don't have the flash, so Kane is definitely dead. Takes a little bit longer than you'd otherwise expect, but Close proximity. There's no way to kill Orn there with the items that they currently have. He's just way too tanky. Well, we've just given up on the bottom lane entirely here, if you're a freak of freaks. Infernal Rift is coming out. That's a great repel from well, Spirit as they're he, trying does, to stop he... him from taking the lantern. Oh, that auto attack, it's not going to be enough as Jelly's going to burn down. Temp derives at exactly the right time and Fly does not. Felt like it was an inevitable thing, but Nefrika still opting into it. So even though Kyuve tried to give them an offer the west, Morel and Omicron sales are greatly down. Stomps they are, are, stomps are down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Morel and Omicron is crashing like Bitcoin did a really long time ago. Look, lands on the Keen, and he's just dead. No stopwatch. And uh, that was just... Poor positioning from Kane. He hasn't had the start to the season. They are in complete control We take a look at the replay, and that's just a really clean kill right there. I, I actually made a deal with him prime for prime. Oh, wow. I don't have prime. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. wow. You've been advertising this for so long. Don't even have it as Cubase going for the 1v1. One, one one. Fly moves on out of the way. The ram does get knocked back, though. Good Q. Cube not with the damage enough to kill him and realizes that there might be a whole bunch of friends on their way as Fly just trying to keep him in the area. Cube realizing that maybe it's time to just uh, do some autos and Mystic steals the kill away because he spent a lot of time. Later. Bit of a disaster. Let's hope this team fight can actually help us out as Jelly just finds absolutely no one's man. Drop does come in as the bullet time flies over the top. Cube misses absolutely everything. He, he just gets bopped for it. As in goes Keen. He found the Aphelios, and that's going to mean the team fight. Haru's running for his life. Took a while for the cannon to warm up, but he found it, and they're going to not even worry about the Drake? No, they are. They're going to go take the Drake and then take the Baron, most What's likely. Cube doing, Atlas? He had a three-man <laughs> Orn ultimate, a pin against the wall, and misfortune, <laughs> the succubus herself. It, it's all Into making sense now, right? Yep. Yeah, You're low on true. HP, lay on hands a couple of times, get all the HP back. I haven't spotted that I've only got one card in my deck. Exactly, just yeah. like they spotted Cube. Or exactly, Kane. Kane is just dead. So there's nothing that they can do oh, there. The man no. drop delivers Fly to his death as well. He immediately tries to get out of there. Not sure what the Ram was doing. And uh, neither was Cube, I don't think, but they are going to be able to get the Infernal Soul purely off the back of Keen being in absolutely the wrong place at yep. the wrong time. And you know what? This Infernal Soul is actually giving the Orn upgrade for Aphilios almost half a long suit in yeah. itself, which is really cool. Even it's a more. nice stat. That Isn't that great? Me excited. Yeah. I feel like the one person that, like, when you go on a date, you're at the dinner table and you're really excited about, like, science or space, and, like, the other person is not happy. 
to go down as well so we're waiting six seconds before cannon can turn up it's the turn on the fly but he's soaking so much of the damage mystic goes golden but that is about the worst possible position for you gets flashed after a thousand gold for temp yes, and that might just team. be the end what? of the game what? in goes keen into the middle of the team and i believe he teleported onto a spiderling maybe something he doesn't want to do ever again as spirit's gonna head for the hills we're looking at another loss for Elise, no one can do what Pioshik was able to do in our previous series. And Hama, they're going to take themselves to Baron. There's a crescendo. Still, Melio's doing a lot of damage to this Baron. We don't even need to worry about it. There are only two members of a Freaker alive. And now, we're going to have one last reset for Hanwha. Just three, put the last goal out as this uh, inhibited turret was there, I think. Not anymore. There's uh, Gravitum and the Calibrum for Vista. Probably the best options, but in goes Haru. Moonlight Vigil finds absolutely no one. It's finally an on that does something. Cube getting into the back line, finds himself a couple as Fly joins the fight just to die here on the backside. Stops a lot of that damage. The flash forward from Vista. Cool guys don't look at explosions, and the Nexus turrets are going to evaporate. The Nexus will do the same thing, and Afrika, they're going to need to rethink how they operate themselves in game number two because that draft didn't work, and also the gameplay didn't work either. And I really, really like to see this. Drafts doing what they're supposed to do, and even in the face of a uh, an Orn V5, I, I don't even... Away. Tomorrow.